guys welcome to a new video today i'm playing some zack jungle this is gonna be a zack jungle gameplay guide for you guys i'm gonna be showing you guys hopefully <sighs> oh, it's just so lame Just is what it is. None of my team to guard early, so they got to walk into my jungle. Pretty lame. Um, game is just so bad for me right now. Anyway, it's gonna be a Zach jungle guide. I'm gonna show you guys hopefully how to carry. I'm in a super, super bad position. The reason I wanted to start top is because I must strong side my bot lane. They're at double um, range lane and they're going to push. There's, I don't know what to really do here. Hard to have a game plan right this second. Um, I'm in a really bad spot. So what I have to do is just like assess the game as it goes on. And hopefully find an edge somewhere. So anyway, I'm going to do red raptors into my Krogs and then see if I can go into his bot side. Now, I would expect that their Blitzcrank watered there somewhere. Also, I need to tell my top laner to be somewhat careful if he dies to level 3 Shaco gank. Very bad um, situation. He shouldn't die because he knows where Shaco started, obviously, but um, just because he knows that doesn't mean he'll like, play importance. Also, for those of you wondering, this is going to be a Masters to Grandmaster elo game, so decently high elo, um, depending on who you are, but I would say for 99% of you watching, this is a pretty high elo game. Now, Shaco looks like he's going to go into his Raptors here, but he doesn't actually have to. And you know, really, it's a pretty painful situation for me. Looks like their bot lane are moving, yeah, of course. Like, it's pretty much impossible to play the game. Um, box in there. Holy shit. Answer is this. He's auto in the wrong one. Enemy kill. Ideally, we should just put 15, but I think we're going to. Yeah, it's pretty much entirely cringe. There's really no plays that I'm allowed to do. Um, just because also their teammates are so active on the map. Blitz is there first, and my player obviously gets to know and should never be late. Shaco's there. Try and peel this guy. Ah, he didn't die. Did die nice. Okay, I might actually kill both here. It's just bad, but is it winnable? Who the fuck knows? All right, so Steve. <laughs> ah. Let's not back bot yet. He may even come here and just like pull my camp over the wall. Because he can. Shaco is doing his top side camps. And then I would actually expect Shaco to go into grubs. So I probably need to try and invade Shaco's bot side. Punish that. But again, extremely difficult. Everything. Um, this game extremely difficult. Okay, getting pushed off a shitload of waves there. In theory, this is not watered. In theory, they're doing that. Oh, Shaco's actually here. <laughs> so it is watered. Uh... Maybe Boots picked up on the SOP. 
interesting play by Shaco to not go grubs there. I think I would not have um would not do that personally. I guess that now I run straight grubs. I try and do at least one grub. Um, I have smite, so I should be able to at least get one. But again, they just have the vision control over every single thing. Shaco is bot though. Well, I mean, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if they just sent their top and um, mid here to deny me. And if mine didn't rotate at all, basically. I don't think that air drag is remotely an even trade. Um, I'm actually pretty happy for this trade here. Unless they're thinking that because I got spotted on vision, I would just leave. The thing is, you know, because I have such little opportunities, I have to kind of play this is differently how I would normally play. And, um, you know, I don't know how often you guys are going to run into this in lower ranks, um, to be honest. I'm sweet picks. I don't know if Shaco's is right here. Player left. XD. And he had smite. Should actually die here because he's revealed. I think I pulled the wrong one. Get altered here, of course. Okay, I'm gonna come alive. I didn't make it. Um. Yeah. This guy still won't be towing. Is Ezreal so? That was an okay time with the 1v2. If I could have um, held my E a little bit longer there, I probably would have lived. Probably a slight misplay on that. Thanks, that was close. For certain they get ganked here, at least by the Blitz. If they die 2v2, it's just pretty criminal. We have to go to this, sadly. Did die 2v2. Chaco is probably coming. I'm gonna pull him on his bots here. Nice. Oh, no, 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 no. That, please. It's gonna be such a dirty game, man. Not the unhappiest about it, though, given circumstances. I need to try and make sure that my laners at least go even, despite me getting hard punished in the jungle matchup. No idea where their Shaco is. Uh, if he's doing drag, that's pretty much a good thing. Okay, interesting. Don't know. Oh, he just took it then. Oh, it's deep. <laughs> Did we? I didn't see them topside. But I was listening to Ash Pings. Okay, I have to counter gank here. Ah, oh, that's a fucking tragedy. Ah, 
Ah, oh, I'll do it. I need to mute most of the pings. Most of them are pretty trash. Don't really know which ones to mute though. Taking a lot of magic damage. I'll sit on a null mantle here. I don't really know where to go. Drill still. MCS. You would think that these two would just be able to zone him off the creeps entirely. Given the situation. Ah, they used Ashy bot. Would love it if they were using that towards finding Shaco for me. So watered. Oh, they died Shaker. Can't do grubs. But I have no vision. Sure. My teammate is rotating, but he's got no vision. I need to find Zareth with my E. Ah, XD, look at that. Ah, fuck. We probably actually get grubs here now. It's pretty hard for them to contest, actually. Nice, he has to leave, I think. Nice. I don't want to smite there because I know that we're trying to take all grubs. So I gotta play the slow game. Him getting one grub is not actually consequential him getting two grubs would be it's not gonna happen all right nice really surprised ash doesn't try and like ult in those situations there given that she's not like trying to solo kill ezreal either Shaco is around. Alpha died, which is pretty big. Going to try and avoid getting seen there. I think I did. Maybe I can catch this. Whoa, that seems illegal. I got spotted there on a blue trinket. I think Zareth is still here for this, by the way. Seems like he's still here. Okay, so apparently there's no ward there. Ward here. So I think. I think. Chaco took what my blue grump. I will go this way. A little bit more gold efficient. We're down one level, three camps to the sky. Shadow. I actually just E my Raptor 6. I think Blitzcrank is on, like in that area. It wasn't. Yeah, so I was thinking Blitzcrank might be in there trying to hook the um, guy over the wall. 
Who knows what's watered, or this can be watered. It appears that all of it is actually watered. Or oh, Zareth just had instinct to move back. down there too. I think it's Zaris coming through there. Calm isn't pretty shoot spot. I have got to go this way. Okay, should die too. Unfortunately, Shaco shutdown seemed to have got smaller somehow. Didn't go and clear that ward. Yes, I will. Maybe he has to walk through here? He does. Yeah, he flash? Doesn't look like he does. Okay. okay. Me? I don't think they should go on me here. I'm sure my center just needs to move up. Uh. Okay. I dodged that, sadly. Good shit here. Nice. There's the eye shot, finally. Can we do this? I think we can do this. He has upgraded smart on me. Okay, that's I think fine. I don't know if I could have got that smart or not. They're correct. This game is kind of a ram, and it is kind of good for us now. Next drag is going to come become part of me more important. I'm at a huge critical point though here. Um, now I need to figure out what next. I'm thinking that we go this way, and I just need to kill three camps, and then probably reset again. Get my gold, and go from there. What kind of a game? What the fuck? Gonna hold my E here. But still hasn't shown. Ah, uh, fuck me. It's terrible. I was trying to debate whether I had to go or not. So I kind of really need my red smart upgrade too, but I also need my mid to not die. I, in hindsight, probably just should have never even been doing my camps, I guess. Ah, he got it. Boss. I can't do shit because he's going to have first rotate. <laughs> the funny man. I missed the cannon.
I mean, we lost Baron. Why does he die there? Steve? Ash is dead. This is going to be a really big power spike once I get it, especially since Shaker has no actual pen, just has the ability. Shaker's up two levels here, probably. And the last like three minutes has really been a huge throw, which is super surprising given we just had like a huge play before that that was so good for us. And we just went into like this throw mode where everyone got picked and I was doing my camps. In hindsight, I guess I shouldn't have done the camps. I don't really get it. Like, what do we fight for here? There's nothing to fight for. I don't want to take this wave. Oh, no, my two into here. That helps a lot. I don't think we should fight for right now. Now that I have this, team fights become a lot easier once again. It's crazy though, like, I have to do so much in the team fights. I have to kind of carry them. Which is beyond ridiculous given the circumstances of this game. Wasted our shot, man. We wasted Ash and we have no idea what's um, watered. Oh, this is so huge. I got it all. I live. We really need the dragon. That was the perfect play for me. I think my teammates come to this. I really don't want to be doing this by myself. And I also pushed that bot wave earlier and ended up coming pretty big for us. Got us tower and denied them like three waves. This guy needs to be pretty careful though. We also need to try and clear the vision. Now, jungle. healing cut, so I'm gonna go Warden's Mail here. I don't need Warden's Mail either. What do I need? I actually don't mind that. They don't- ah, uh, fuck, they're getting heal cut there, I guess. Is Shaco really gonna heal cut me that much, though? I feel like no. I also honestly feel like Shaco greets for this. I can go over here, because I just- I have low chances of dying right now to anything. Even if I get like quote unquote picked or caught, it's not the worst thing in the world, especially if Blitz hooks me towards teammates. Okay, so obviously this was either watered or just he had enough um enough tension from the shaper jumping over. Oh,
Uh, it's, I'm causing a huge ruckus here. I see you should not get hit by the um, abilities of his. Ah, he had enough fucking CDR anyway. I'm actually kind of surprised by that. But I'm kind of looking for the dive angle here. We are joking. I cannot believe my teammates died there. Kind of fun. Oh, he killed my creep! He killed my creep, bro. That's so fucking crazy. <sighs> Whatever. It's really hard for me to do much versus this guy at this point in time with the CDR he has. I need armor. I just don't really know what armor item to get. Game. So not sure. I'm just gonna sit on thinking about that. I do think this um, healing item is gonna do a lot. If I get into the back line, I can really run a fair bit of a mock this game. Ah, oh, nice. I run a mock here again. Does. Except Ezreal comes here, like, I can really do a lot versus him. Bit of a shame my player got. Um, chunk so heavy there. Nice, as long as Ezra doesn't hit Q's here, I can do a lot. Nice, I don't know what's watered, so I have to keep that in mind the whole time. Alright, we just focus on finishing it now. Just getting this off the map so they can't get it is really, really big. And then I want to play for this. I don't think I have my item though, but I'll sell. Dark Seal, pick up pink here. And then I'm going to play for one more armor item. I don't know which one that's going to be. I kind of like if Ash kills the red here. Nice. Big. Now, I want to play for an engage from somewhere. Not from there, though, actually, because we need to all be on the same side so that my teammates can actually rotate in after I get the engage. Looks like they just watered that. Nice. This is huge. Need to know where the um, Shaco is. Found him. It's this one. It's the other one. Nice. Nice. Should be able to get mid inhib too and drag and also bot waves. Go push, I think, bro. Now, I don't think my center should really be here. I think he should push, but. Anyway. We grabbed that. I think their blue is up because no one has blues, unless like Ezreal's taken blue while we're doing drag or something of that nature. I am looking for an engage, but I still need to be careful. Like I said before, I'm getting to a point where I'm very, very hard to kill. The only issue is I don't really have the damage to just like 1v9 the fight. I don't think we can do this anymore. But I am gonna just like chill in case Ezreal ease in. I need to not die, guys. What the fuck is this? So we could have been doing like that red here instead of dying. Ash is in a pretty risky position here with Shaco. The heal cuts don't fuck all because they're not really getting Shaco damage on me. I'm not super worried about this. It's fine. Again, just playing to make sure Ash doesn't die. And then we're gonna take a base for an armor item. 
I'm actually thinking about going the one that gives me move speed. They don't crit that much, really at all. Have a nine, bro. Ah, actually, nine spells not the worst thing in the world either on Jacked. did it. I found him. Nice, dodge the Q. Just see if I can land a Q on Ezreal and then wall slam him into the tower. Nice. I have to drop off now. Oh, I'm actually gonna die. That's fucking AIDS. Holy shit, kill this guy. He eat Ford. Hello? Nah, that's crazy. Israel eat for the bros. What the fuck? How is that allowed? Anyway. I need to keep going, Shaco's about. We don't lose here or anything, we just go like full five top. Whoa, that Zerath has really fucked up for that. So we just need to force them as five top and then we can win. No one can get picked right now. And honestly, these guys shouldn't even be playing the game until I spawn. Uh, I'm the one who can like create space for them, either by peeling or going in. Even this Karma, I think, is super out of position here. Okay, fine. I mean, I would love for our team to have the red. I think it's very, very useful. We do have drag coming up too. Malphite has no TP though. No TP on Malphite, so this is a huge play for us that's available here. We need center vision though, in the jungle somewhere. If we had a center ward through here somewhere, that would be the play. They are super trolling, by the way, to not be around here at all. Nice. Nice. Zerath has no flash. I should catch this. I did. Nice. Alright, GG well played. What a painful fucking game, ladies and gentlemen. I'll just keep tanking here. We did it though. I think the game should have gone differently in a lot of situations, but... I mean, for us to win that game, I am pretty happy. I just... I think a lot of people would not win that game. Um, just like circumstances that occurred. A lot of people would have just given up um, and said FF, but I kind of felt like we had win cons, so I kept in it. I don't really know who to honor here. Jack's kind of cool. Anyway. 194 LP. Um, we're only like three wins off GM right now. It's kind of nice. Damage shots, quite insane. Yeah. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's gameplay guide. Um, as always, if you like the content, make sure to like, subscribe, comment. I think this should have been very educational for nearly everyone who's watching. Uh, this is a situation that's very hard to deal with um, on Zac and just on any jungle in general. So, having my thoughts of how I approach this should help a lot of you guys. 
these are the types of games that you know would be normally part of your probably 30 percent um just default losses that are out of your control but yeah we managed to get the win here if you'd like to learn how to play better you can join my coaching community and you could submit games just like this from yourself and i can tell you how to win them so what I'd recommend to if you were someone who wanted to improve even more is join my coaching community, coachmiger.com. It's called Migers University. Basically, you join a community where you can submit VODs and then also see other people's VODs that are being reviewed. Um, the average person there is about platinum now. Um, that's not what it was originally, but it's just people climb in there. So that's about where everyone is at the moment. Um, but you know, that's you know, give or take. If a bunch of people join in bronze, then the average will drop back down to some lower rank. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for today's guide, guys. Until next time, take care. Good luck in the rift. Peace out.